Thanks for watching this episode of World More Art and today I'm going to talk about FedEx. One of the shipping companies that artists use is FedEx. So every so often when I get a package they look something like this. Here, here, like here, here's a package where I got uh, from a publisher and then I just requested them to send me a Bristol board. So they would just send me Bristol boards like this. So right here, this is a good shape. But today I got a package, it came like this. Okay, look at this. Okay. Normally, one of these uh, regular, I got a FedEx, FedEx envelope, it looks like this. It's flat, nice and new, flat, like that, regular, regular envelope. But when I got it, it's like this. FedEx did a number on this package. Okay, when I got it, it was moist. I don't understand why it was moist. Uh, right here, it was open, just like this. Okay, it's very, very, if, check it out, compare this package to this package look look at the look at the condition okay there's a trait what a big difference okay let's look at this side like that like this okay like that and then when i pulled the comic out there was a like one tray paper back i mean i didn't need i didn't even need to open it i would just go like this okay and then here's Here's the book. Okay, this is what came. This was what came like that. That's the trade paperback. This is a brand new trade paperback directly from the publisher, not only through Amazon or shipping. So, books that come directly from the publisher is in better shape than a comic book store that goes through distribution channels. And then uh, a brand new book, and it's like this. Okay, I'm touching it here, and it's moist. It's, it's wet and moist. I don't know, FedEx probably dropped it in the river or something. I didn't hear any news about FedEx dropping uh, a truck in the river. So here it was like this. Pages were stuck together. Okay, look at that. Okay, uh, looks like it's falling apart. If you look here, okay, look at that. Okay, okay I think if you do this, you can actually fold this part out. That's how. That's how bad it is. Uh, it's so moist here. The paper feels like a feels like a wet wet towel. Right over here, it just very bad. FedEx, we we pay you guys so much, your company so much in shipping items. You should take much better care. Well, anyway, comp box. This is an unboxing of this, and this is the book I got. Uh, X-Men Blue Volume 1, Volume 1. So for those of you who are interested in ordering one of these, I added links below. The one you get won't be like this, but here, here's this one. So let's take a look at the inside, okay? Here's X-Men Blue, just right over here. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, X-Men Blue copy. So here's the top view came in FedEx just like this. That, and there's a, if you look closely here, you can see it was all, there we go. See the glare? So those lines there, I think it got wet and some of the uh, the coating on it just started wrinkling up. So this was supposed to be a new book directly from Marvel. So it should be in better condition, but FedEx did a number on it. So let's take a look at the inside. You see, see, look, it's all already falling apart right here in the seams. It's definitely, definitely got wet. I don't know what FedEx did with it. But even down here, it's all falling apart. Okay, look. Look at this. Okay, let's see. Now, let's take a look at what's inside here. Oh, look, the pages are stuck together, too. Look, look at this. So let's try to separate the page. Yeah. Yep, yep, it's still moist. Look, it's still wet. Still wet as I record this. So the pages did get wet through FedEx. I don't know what FedEx did to it. Uh, 
pages are all stuck together here. Let's turn to the next page. Yep, look at that. Still sticky. So I'm gonna turn the page. So for those of you who are interested in getting this book, not like one in this condition, I've added links below. Uh, so you can pick up your copy. Look, look at that. So I'm just gonna open up. Yeah, all the pages are stuck together. When I'm touching it, it's still moist. Still moist to the touch. Look, it's tearing up the pages. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna open up this. Look, the whole thing is basically, whole book is, just can't really do anything with this anymore. Look at that, all the pages are stuck together. Look, look at this. Okay, so let's take a look at the insides. Look at this. It's more like a like a wet towel. I don't know if you feel it. You see how it how it softly bends up like that? It's just it's just like a wet towel. Uh, mostly the top part of here is all wet. It's kind of gross. Did they throw it? Did they throw it in the river or something? I don't know. Look at that. Look at this sticky pages. And this is supposed to be a brand new book, directly from the publisher. And then I get it uh, like this. Well, anyway, let's take a look at... Oh, this is horrible. Look. Thank you, FedEx, for doing this. Okay, more here. And then here, here's, here's the package. Here's, here's how the package came. And they just slid it under the door. Didn't even ring the bell. Uh, it, was, it came and it was par partially open like this. Uh, you mean, it's kind of soft. Okay, let's continue looking at the inside. Okay, for those of you who are thinking about buying the trade paperback, here's a preview of how it looks. Okay, now it's getting a little bit better. So the, most of the moisture was in the front of the book. So let's continue looking through the rest of the book. Look, look at that. Pretty bad, bad shape over here. So at the bottom, it's like that. Okay, so let's continue looking through the rest of the book. Uh, Magneto's over here, Gene. Uh, some of it's still readable. Oh, here, pages are getting stuck again. It's right over there. Okay, Cyclops. And let's find the pages that I worked on. Mm, definitely not a book that I would curl up and read because of the condition. Uh, I would like to read this book in its final form in good shape. Okay, some more pages here. You got Iceman, Sentinels, Sentinels fine, this is a nice scene. Let's look for the pages that I've worked on. Oh yeah, let's look at the credits page. Credits right over here. Uh, I worked on issue four. Inkers, Walter Wall right here, Pencilers, Julian Lopez, right over there. I don't think I inked that much of this book. I helped out a lot, like on a, on a few pages. So let's continue looking. Okay, any page that I'm able to flip, I'm happy about. Okay, right over here. Let's see. Uh, some covers, so issue four, uh, Author Adam's cover right over here. Look how bad, look how bad it's all crinkled up over here. Uh, FedEx, I can't, I don't know FedEx, we pay you guys so much money, more so than post office or UPS, and then we get packages all crumpled up like this, and then the items, brand new item, the book and it just falls apart like that okay so let's find the pages that I worked on um, I don't recognize this one so let's go forward no no oh here I worked on this page I remember inking this um, probably the next page also I didn't really do that much I have inked this page I remember this page I inked this page so let's Let's see, I inked this page, I remember this pose, right over here. Cyclops, I inked this, I remember inking the, the furry part. I think that's about it. I don't think I inked these pages. I probably, I can't remember. This was um, a little while ago. Um, I think that's about it. So let's, for, let's, let's uh, move on forward to see the rest of the pages. Look at these nice Arthur Adam covers over here. Okay. So we have Quicksilver, we have more Quicksilver. Let's look at the rest of the book, see what else is in here. 
here we go, this page. This looks like a Mr. Sinister or Mrs. Sinister. I don't know who that is. Captain America is right over here. Here. More pages. Let's flip, flip through this a little bit quicker so all you, everyone who's interested in buying this book can have an idea of how this looks. Another author item covers. These are fantastic. Okay. Here. And while you're looking through this, you can pause the video, uh, take a quick look, and then continue on. If you want to take a closer look, oh, more sticky pages. Okay, let's try to separate the sticky pages, see what happens. Right over here. Okay, just some some of the white from this side goes to over here. Really, look, look at the paper here. It's just, just, look at that. Okay, let's see, oh, another sticky page. Okay, separate that. Okay, more sticky pages. And when I'm touching this, I just got this package today, and it's still moist. You know why it's moist? What, did someone look at it in the bathroom or something? This is kind of gross. Okay, here's more. Here, here's the back cover. Here's the back cover. Uh, falling apart over here. And here's the back. Oh yeah, one more page here. Okay, right over here. Uh, if you look at it, it's, it's so moist that you, you can see the page here is kind of just falling apart right over here. Okay, I don't think it's the publishing problem. It's the way FedEx took care of this. Okay, let's look at the side over here. I don't know if you can see some of the crinkles over here. It's, it's all falling apart. Here's a big dent here. This is probably the worst. FedEx delivery I've ever gotten from FedEx in all my years of getting packages through FedEx. Okay, look at this. Look at that. Look at these ridges. Like why why is there these these bump stuff over here? You know, so there you have it. This is uh X-Men Blue. X-Men Blue Volume Volume 1. It had to be volume one. And there you have it. That's uh, X-Men Blue Volume 1. So those, those of you are interested in ordering one, uh, I added links below that you can order your copy. Uh, it's actually a really nice book. Uh, art in there is pretty good. It has some nice uh, uh, covers from Author Adams, uh, My Inks, uh, a few different pencilers. Uh, and I promise when you order it from Amazon or wherever, wherever else, it's going to be a better shape than this one. So thanks for watching this episode of the Wall Wall Art. Uh, please like, share, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something about FedEx, something that happened to you with FedEx, comment down below. I would like to hear how your experience is with FedEx. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, uh, be good to your packages. If, you're, if you work for FedEx, take care of the items that you send now. Thank you.